All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at material icons. In some of my other videos, you've seen me use icons before. Maybe you just type stuff in and just follow along. That's cool. That's an efficient way of learning, too. But let's just say you want to use your own icons. What does that look like? Well, you could come in here, you could click filled, outlined, rounded, all this other stuff. And it's going to give you the ability to select what you want, what is needed for your website your web app and so let's go ahead and click on this here so we see that this is the import that we're going to use once again I hate semicolons oh it captured it I'll have to delete it and what you have here is the font size small medium and large now for these here it's kind of interesting that they clearly because these are outlined they're not giving you the I don't know what you would have to do to get to those. So maybe that's the inconsistency on the website. But let's see how to use that icon. We come in here and we have uh, alarm add two tone icon. We come in here. And let's just do font size as large because I feel that's just easier. And if you don't believe me, you could do medium or small. Feel free to do it on your own there. I just want to make it easy for everyone to see. And so we see we have this two-tone alarm clock icon here. But we could do more to it, actually. We could come in and type color. Let's see the auto suggestions here. We see action disabled, error, inherit, primary, and secondary. Let's click secondary. So I think it's that salmon pink kind of color. And we see that it's still two-tone but it has that secondary color to it here. We wanted to go into primary. We could do the same thing as well. And so these are some of the ways that you could use icons. Once again, you could click through here, go through here, pick out what you need. One important note is if you're looking at this and you're part of a corporate environment, odds are your company already has some kind of branding icons, something they use. I know where I work they do. And so Unless you get the blessing somehow from business, from whatever team that is, you will most likely not be using these. You'll most likely be using your company's icons, which is just fine because you're going to want consistent branding across each page. But homework assignment, personal project, freelancing, whatever, feel free to pick through these. And these aren't the only icons out there in the world you could use. They're just the ones housed in Material UI. And that's essentially it. It's just kind of a rinse and repeat process going through all these. And also, if you're also well, more curious, feel free to comment if you want me to go through more stuff about icons. But at the bottom of the page, on each section, there's an API which you could go into where you could click SVG icon here. And you can learn much more about the different things that you could do with these icons. So as we saw the color, we have disabled, error, inherit, primary, secondary. There's also other things you could come in here and it'll explain, like what is font size, what is the shape rendering, what is the view box, stuff like that. And this is all very, very, very important because sometimes you'll have a requirement, it has to do with an icon, but you have to manipulate it in some way. So don't be afraid to check the API because the one for Material UI, their instructions are pretty solid. So yeah, that's it.